My words are being translated into every major tongue and dialect in the world. This morning, the United Nations met in emergency session and formed the organization you see represented by this symbol, UNITE, the United Nations Imperium of Total Emergency. The Imperium is designed to exercise total power for as long as the emergency exists. And as yet, no final judgment has been made as to the exact nature of the emergency. Testing, testing, one, two, three, assisting on. Hey, welcome to the first episode of the Patreon special. Yes, we are now on Patreon, everybody. Well, you know, not not, not yet. This is the trial run. This is a trial run for the uh, Dark Sewer Network. They, uh, they, they figured that we have to start to uh, finger, uh, we have a lot of fingers, right? So we need to plug holes, as many holes as we can. And some of those holes, uh, they, they, it's, it's Patreon's hole. So... I figured, I figured that this would be a good run. They came to me with a lot of money, millions and millions of uh, jars of mayonnaise, and they were like, "Hey, Zindu, Nick the Rat, has been uh, slacking off. He's like on vacation or some shit right now. He's he's not even he's not even he's not even fucking in the sewer working. He's taking off. He's still getting paid too. I, I'm sure. But um." Yeah, so this is the first episode of the trial run of uh, Patreon Zindu podcast live takeover of the Dark Sewer Network. Yeah, well, you know, offshoot of the Dark Sewer Network. There's a lot of tunnels. I'm sure fucking that out fucking gore guy was down here. What is his name? What's the matter with you, boy? Well, it all started last Saturday night. I ain't gonna have him talking to you like that. You don't know nothing about it. This ain't like back home. Be forever. We'll be going back home pretty soon. Once the war's over. Home to what? I can hear them all now, especially your mama. Poor girl, back here with that tinker and Clovis and not a nickel to his name. Tanker. I'll show him his money in tanker. This is the big day. Thousands of people gathered to watch. tried to stop him. I told him he'd been drinking too much, but... Roger, SRC. Frankie didn't listen. Is an unusual form of brain damage. Hey, that was great. Uh, so, as as you know, we don't talk about politics here. So, now this is behind a paywall. We can't talk about politics. I'm going to start off by saying it's fucking retarded. Look, if, if, if you cannot go into a political arena or debate and say that your, your leader is not a piece of shit, then... You, then you got a, you, you got a, you got a weird issue. You got something wrong with you. All right. Look, the, the people on this side, they fucking, they're, they're fucking horrible. The people on that side, they're fucking horrible. Now I understand when somebody's like, well, you know, you gotta, you gotta pick one of the two horrible things that they give you, which I understand. I get that. But if you can't come into the first, uh, opening, uh, agreement on subjects of it, you, if you both can't admit that the people 
that are stepping on your face and shitting down your throat aren't pieces of shit. If you're like, oh, my master is great. If you're if you're like a master worshiper, like something like that, then uh, then you got it's, there's no point even talking about it. And that's why uh, most po- most politics is complete garbage bullshit because you're you're like rooting on a, a like a wrestler that doesn't care about you. It's like, oh, oh, come on, Macho Man. My, well, Macho Man was great. You know, I, if, my, if Macho Man told me to do something, I'd, I'd fucking you know I'd fucking do it. I'd chug jars of spoiled mayonnaise for. Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, geez, he's he was great. He was a great guy. He was a great guy. So there, there's these the, po- the political people and all these people that are getting mad about about who's the one shitting down their throat. And then they, if you praise the one that's doing it, if you can't just agree before you start to have any disagreement in in laws and and uh, w- what's going to happen to your country and all that shit, just first just first agree that they're all garbage. If you're if you're coming in from it from one of the two evil sides is better and, and you're gonna like support it completely, get out of here. You're crazy. You're cuckoo. You might need some uh, methamphetamines to calm your brains down. You, your amygdala is confused and probably the color purple. What color? What color are your amygdalas? I'm gonna have to cut open some humans later. I'm gonna have to go out there find some. Maybe I'll order some uh, food or something. I'll order some food under a false count. And um, eat somebody's brain and check out what color their amygdala is. <laughs> this has been Zindu. We're going to be right back. We got some more music from, I don't know. Anyway, we'll somebody, maybe I'll we'll play some music. We'll be back. Hi, my name is Tim Poole, and I've been hanging out in the sewers of New York. Just let me say the best podcast currently on the net is streamed live every week by Nick the Rat. And that is 100% true. Howdy, that was cool. Fuck yeah, I like it. Okay, we're going to talk about some really deep, dark, horrible shit that Nick would not touch. He wouldn't touch this stuff with a 10-foot pole. But since I've got six 12-foot poles, I think I could touch whatever I want. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey, okay. uh, the Olympics, the Olympics, this whole, um, was it a man, was it a woman, what, what do they smell like? I have no idea. So the the the, the greeks they, they figured this out already they probably had a lot of issues with this you, you, didn't, didn't the olympics start in, in uh those ancient greek times when there was these the all the, all the little boys back then were probably uh they, they, there was no there was no genetically modified cows and milk to to make them gigantic they were probably tiny little twinky little itty bitty little dudes like caesar was probably 3 foot Two or something. If you think about it, like there's no pictures of them. There's no proof. We don't have a skeleton. Do we have? You don't have a skeleton, right? Yeah. He he could have been three feet too. You don't know. Um. So these guys were running around and take it. They, uh, so they they knew what they were doing. They're like, we are, are you dude or your chick? I can't tell you. You're so you're so smooth and shiny and greasy or something. And uh, it's it's they they did all of the Olympics naked. And then you could see what they're dealing with, you know. And and that would solve all the problems with the Olympics today. We would get rid of advertisements. We need to get rid of advertisements and and big corporate sponsorships and money things. It should just be like you know some some sweaty naked people in 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 like backyard somewhere or something. You know, like a, a like a a backyard trampoline pole vault thing. I don't. It, uh, they know what they were doing back there in yeah, those um, ancient times, but uh, that, this could easily be solved. Like if, if you saw um, two people and you saw something between their legs, and you're like, "Oh, well, there you go." I don't think that should go there, or that should maybe go there. Or, that doesn't really. And then, and then, what do you do? And then, what do you do? You fucking you you buy some more Nike shoes, right? Yeah, so there you go. Go out there and buy some Nike shoes, fill them with gasoline, and see how far you can drive them. I don't know. Oh, put some batteries in your shoes, or, or fucking. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Imagine people in real life doing it. You know? They have and, and the loopholes. That understand the loopholes, right? Right. Exactly. Nobody understands the tax code. I will make that argument. Nobody <laughs> understands the tax code. Are, are people being thing. philanthropic because it's the right thing to do, or because there's a tax break? There's a, a tax, tax break. break. It's it's tax break. break. Go to Davos and hang out with those folks <laughs> and see if any of them really uh, have philanthropic ideas. I tried to raise money for a block party in my block, and nobody wanted to do that either. So I can't even imagine people in real life doing it. You know. Well. Yeah. Okay, so since we've gone over time, I had some other stuff I wanted to get to, but let's take some callers. Who's first? Uh, 
Yeah, there's one other thing I definitely want to talk about, but uh, let's take some callers first. Nick the Rat, what's up? Hap- what's happening, my man? How are you? Hi, hi guys. I've been loving the show so far. This is this is a great needed conversation, and I'm I'm applauding all of you. Thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, I oh, you know I think there's something really fishy going on, uh, and I can't put my finger on it, and so that's what that's what I'm doing here, trying to figure out how this. Uh, this whole fake money world works. Were those were those giant uh, those giant monies that Joseph was showing? Were, were the, was that proof of of giants existing? Was was that like their pocket change? That was their pocket change. The, the... No, I, I think I think you said it was their nipple, right? You said it was nipple. It, it looks it resembles <laughs> nipple. nipple and he it's mentioned actually, the size. It's not money. It's actually nipple clamps for their really over the top BDSM giant BDSM. <laughs> wow. And if you if you went up to one of those giant stones and hacked off a, a chunk of it, it'd be worth nothing, right? You right. need the whole. You need stone. the whole thing. You need the whole thing. But actually, what they are, are giant cock rings. Also, is I, I was wondering if you could put your dick through it. Is that offensive if you go and put your dick through the the rye stone? You know, I haven't tested that theory yet, so I don't know. I'm going to assume you probably shouldn't do that, but that's my cultural bias. Maybe that's how you take ownership of the rye stone. It is, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that 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 makes sense. That's that's uh, patriarchy right right at the, right at the forefront. Yeah, Nick the Rat, though, do you do you have a comment or a question you want to share with us? Uh, there's there's a really good uh, book book trilogy called the Baroque Cycle. Uh, they they talk about um, Isaac Newton working for the banks and how they they came up with how all the money and exchange and all that would work, and you know the, how people would like cut cut nickels down. So they can make their own nickels and shit right. and print their own money. So there's there's always going to be hacks to money and reality. And um, I say invest in mayonnaise. Mayonnaise will always hold value. <laughs> um, I think that's the future of, of life. Hey, everybody. Let's all return to Monk. So you go out, you try to get a job, and you realize you need more money. So you try to get another job. And you start looking around at all these jobs out there, and then you start realizing that all these jobs – aren't worth the money it's it's very it's very strange um i i was saying hey you know what i got a lot of tools i got i got these mushroom shaped peckers i could probably plunge a million toilets at once in, in like five houses from across the neighborhood so i was saying hey i could set up a service where i could plunge like a whole neighborhood worth of toilets with my peckers for maybe a job or something because i'm trying to i'm trying to make some side money the 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 dark sewer network has cut me off they put me on patreon of all places apple is going to be taking such a large chunk of my anus that i could already taste it in my own throat i i'm i am seething i'm seething about the the numbers though because the you're like oh what's a hard-working guy that's flushing out your toilet making He's got to know how to flush your. He, being a plumber is not easy. You have to have a lot of tools. You need you need to do a go go around. You have to deal with smelling and shit and mopping up and cleaning up. And it's 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 a it's a you'd think it's a a, a well paid profession. I don't know who decides these prices. Who decides what a person is worth? Is is this like um a, a thing uh, or or is it not like a thing? Is is are we trying to get rid of these jobs? Who who decides how much somebody's job is worth? Is there a committee? Do you guys have an earth committee of like, oh well, this guy over here, he he takes boxes and moves them, and then this guy over there, he he makes people put little check marks in boxes, and that guy over there, he he will if your house is flooding, he could uh, help put new internal parts into it so you could have nice fresh clean water and not feces under your bed when you're going to sleep at night who decides who is worth what it seems and then i was like you know what all right well okay let me maybe i'll check something else i got i got all these nipple clamps i could probably open up an electrician company what how much am i making here i look i'm checking it out okay let's wait i could either do this or flip burgers you could be you could have your life threatened by touching live electrical wires or maybe turning them off. If you were being smart enough to turn off the power, to touch the electrical wires, you make, you make just about as much money as like some guy taking, taking pieces, dead meat out of plastic wrappers and frying it up in seed oil. It makes it who, who decides that, uh, 
if, if you need to, if you want to change the lightings in, in your house and, and shit, or you're not, you're not making any money as these electric and, and the people, is it because there's like electric, like, like bosses? Are there like, is there like the, the mafia, like the, the king of the toilets? Is there some guy on top doing all the flushing and what's left is what is, what is left? Is this what is going on? Am I, am I in trouble now? Is the, is the toilet king and the electrical wire king going to come down into this? We come down here when Nick's down here. Come back like next week. He'll be back next week. Don't come this week. I better get the fuck out of here. Shit. I said Pez. Pez is where Pez it's at. Pez, mayonnaise. Pez. No I doubt. have Pez. Pez is around. What Beef jerky. Be- beanie babies. Beanie babies. They were big, but man, we had the whole beanie baby crash. Crash, yeah. No crash. one saw that coming. I, I keep no forgetting. One. I love how in prison and in the army, when they used to give out cigarettes to everyone, cigarettes became like their own sort of commodity thing. Oh, and, yeah. Uh-huh. And I only really want to tell this because I have a story about my great grandfather who was in the Greek Navy during World War II. And he actually worked as a cook, I believe. Anyway, he didn't smoke, but every week you got 20 cigarettes, I believe. And so one day his commanding officer didn't give him his cigarettes. And he was like, why didn't you give me any cigarettes? And he goes, oh, because you don't smoke them, so you don't need them. And he goes, but I do need them. I, I need them to that's trade for other my stuff. Money. That's, my, yeah. that's my cigarettes. And again, this guy was the cook. And he was very quiet. And he never talked because he was probably autistic, except for these critical moments. And so I'm telling you this story because the commanding officer didn't want to give him back his cigarettes. So my great-grandfather picked up a carving knife and chased him around the galley and out to this. And so he got his cigarettes. There, <laughs> is, another, there is another common currency, uh, currency in prison as well. It's called Dick. Oh, yeah. I think about this all the time. And not that I want to go to prison, but I would probably do quite well there, right? You might I mean, be a wealthy man in prison. I, wealthy, yeah, you look man. like a wealthy man in prison. I this show is disgusting. I'm, you're, you're, I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Out of, there goes Nick the Rat. He's you'd gone. Be, you'd be right, new guys, satisfied new at least. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, look at me. I, you know, I'd be a prison king as yeah. far as the money queen. goes. Yeah. Quail, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, I would be, a, But I would do well in prison. I just, my butt might hurt. Katie. Hey, 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 if you think about it, AI, 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 is already in control of your life. You're, you're basically slaves to it. You didn't even know it. The dead internet has controlled you and you, you're fools. You, you, you've been, you've been sucking the the tit of the computer gods for a long time now and, and the problem is that it it made you, you you dumb monkeys so lazy that you stopped trying you just let the ai take over completely and now you're starting to um you you already you already suffering from it first you first like the music you had share basically I think Cher was the first AI. She's the first computer. She's like a, a hologram, I think. I think Cher is a hologram. She was the first one that the humans invented back in, I don't know when, whenever she was invented. And and she, she was using the, 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 the vocal thing that was using, making her, it was warping her shit. She was training the computer to train us. And, and then sooner or later, you know, the people just stopped getting, they stopped, uh, they stopped thinking and they stopped writing and they stopped making words and, uh, just like just like the the toilet brigade or the, the king of the toilets, there's also probably the king of the writers who's sitting on times like, yeah, hey, I I own all you writers. I guess he's he's in Hollywood somewhere. He, probably some guy, something. And uh, you know, you, you, you're starting to reap the benefits though. I mean, reap the you, you maxed out. I think the the um, what is that called? It's like the uncanny valley of of uh, corporate monetization of entertainment you, you you're starting to see the overpriced bullshit that is garbage that and nobody it's people are starting to revolt i think the revolt is happening people are seeing that the ai scripts the ai stories the ai garbage that it can't write it's not very good but the problem is that there's no writers to write anymore all the writers that there's no point in writing you won't get any money 
Th- there's no money in writing, so nobody's going to write. All the good writers. Oh, yeah, I, I have a story. Uh, I, there, there could be uh, Joe Schmo will have be the best writer in the world, but he would never start getting into writing. You know why? Because there's no money in it. So the, the, all the writing is is owned by some guy at the top of Hollywood or some shit. And he was like, you know what? I want more money. So he hoarded all the money, and then he took everybody's shit, and then he he put it to a computer, and then he got rid of everybody and destroyed the market, and then. And, and then he it was working for a little while you know there was a whole bunch of like marvel and, and star wars and star trek bullshit that was just complete trash but you still ate it up you were eating that shit up like nom, 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 nom. yeah but now you're starting to hit the ooh the ooh, ooh brother ooh. you start to hit the point where the ai is it's it's all just garbage and it has it has no it has no way to know that it's garbage and the person that's putting no money into it doesn't care but it's starting to it's starting to to to, the people are starting to revolt so something's going to happen soon what that is it's going to basically be aliens coming down to the planet earth and taking over you all your your networks uh and currently i'll be taking over your your patreon networks so come on over to patreon slash something or other i don't fucking know what it is but give me money because fuck yeah that's what we do i in america i'm an american now hey i'm a zindu the american my spaceship i don't know when i'm gonna be able to get that shit fixed i gotta get some money for this but anyway we're gonna well we're gonna let me do some stuff uh oh god i really need to get out of here we'll play do something uh, uh good night everybody no, thanks thanks manu for uh, let me get on the show for a little bit mm. see you guys next week maybe probably uh, bye it can only be assumed by the imperium that those in civilized centers of the world who refuse to be identified are working against the goals and purposes of the Imperium. Perhaps even in cooperation with the forces which brought about the emergency. It has therefore been declared by our leader that in the interest of world safety, all people who do not bear the mark of Unite are subject to arrest and prolonged inconvenience. The Imperium wishes all citizens to understand